All right. What's up, everybody? I hope everybody's doing well out there. I wanted to come in here today and do a really quick supplement review for this sub, this protein powder here called Carnivore Beef Protein Isolate by Muscle Meds. <clears throat> and the reason why I want to make this video is because I think people out there may find it helpful or useful. It would have been helpful and useful to me. <laughs> so I guess that's what I'm going to do here. Anyways, I want to start out with a little backstory and then I'll give my take on the actual protein powder. So for 10 straight years, I took whey protein isolate and I usually bought one of the two major brands, uh, Optimum Nutrition Gold Standard and Dimatize, was it ISO 100, I think. And those were my go-tos and I never had any problems with them. They helped me hit my macros. They helped me with muscle recovery. Um, did a good experience, right? They tasted okay. Everything was fine with those. But all of a sudden, one day, I was just no longer able to take whey protein. I woke up one morning and my stomach felt a little funky. And I put pants on, put a belt on. And when I went to tighten my belt, my stomach was legitimately in pain. Not like an irritated stomach, like when you have the flu. This was like a legitimate pain, like my intestines hurt. They were, they were aching. And I didn't really think anything of it. I was just like, you know, I'll just kind of tough it out. And I didn't change my diet up for like a couple of weeks. And it was just progressively getting worse and worse. I mean, I, I guess technically it was manageable, but there was just pain. Like they felt swollen and in pain. And through a process of elimination, I had discovered that whey was what was causing it. And it was strange because I'm not really lactose intolerant. And I can drink regular milk. I can eat pizza. I can eat yogurt. Uh, it's just the whey. For some reason, whey protein isolate, or I guess whey protein in general, is what was causing it. So I had to change something up. And I tried egg white protein powder, but there's just no good uh, flavors of that anywhere. Like I've, I've found no good flavors of egg white protein. So I took it for a little while and my stomach did go back to normal and that was okay. Vegan protein. I, I just haven't found any vegan protein that I like. Um, so I started taking this carnivore stuff and the stomach problems are completely gone. As a matter of fact, my stomach actually feels like it's almost like I get a benefit from drinking this. Like, it, I don't know. My stomach actually feels good. Um, and it helps me hit my macros, you know, my protein goal that I try to hit. That's kind of hard to hit when I'm eating clean without protein powder. You know, it gives me that extra you know, 25 grams of protein that I need to hit my macros and it gives me no stomach problems. And I can say 100%, and I mean this, this chocolate peanut butter flavor here is the greatest tasting protein powder I've ever had in my life. No question. And it's like thick. It tastes like a shake. If I, if I crack an egg in there and put a scoop of oatmeal in there, it's like a uh, nice, it's a full breakfast basically, but it's like a nice shake, a pulpy textured shake. Um, and it works perfect. And I suppose the reason why I wanted to make this video isn't, it's not like a scientific breakdown, which I mean, in 2024, I don't think anybody needs a scientific breakdown on protein powder. I think it's pretty clear what you're getting, you know, you're, you probably already have your diet sort of in check. You know, you're getting protein from other sources, but you just need that extra boost from a supplement. And this 100% does the job. It helps you with your muscle recovery, helps you hit your macros. You know, there's no, uh, well, there's very little fat or carbohydrates in it. So it's exactly what you're looking for in a protein powder. But if you're somebody that can't really handle whey, for whatever reason, it'll, it'll get you there, you know, but I've seen a lot of people give reviews and even on Amazon, I was reading the reviews underneath it 
And a lot of people were saying that it tasted really bad. And I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I, I think it tastes great. But when I would have whey protein, if I didn't wash my shaker cup, like immediately after I drank out of it, it had like that, like, I mean, it was like terrible, you know, but I don't really have that problem with carnivore. Like literally, like I could rinse the cup out with water and set it off to the side and it's good to go tomorrow. (laughs) I recommend that you wash it, but you get what I'm saying. All of you whey protein takers, you know what I'm saying? It's like a, a dead body inside of the cup. But yeah, I have no problems with this protein powder. It's it's done the job for me and it tastes great, helps you hit, hit your macros. And if you're having stomach problems with whey, this should eliminate that. Um, but again, egg white protein powder and vegan protein powder would probably do the same thing. It's just, I don't know of any egg white protein powder or vegan protein powders that are any good. Yeah. This also has creatine and arginine and like a few things in it that I suppose could help you reach whatever goals you're trying to reach, building muscle or, you know, putting on a little bit of extra strength. But, you know, I don't really see a reason to go over that because nowadays most pre-workouts already have all that stuff in it. And honestly, if you're eating enough real protein, you're probably already getting enough anyways. And creatine powder is so cheap that, you know, I don't think you should consider this a source of creatine powder, but I guess I have no reason to ramble. We'll keep this short and sweet. If you're somebody out there that's having problems with whey protein powder in your stomach, I would suggest giving this a try. Unless you're a vegan, go for something vegan. I'm not. So this carnivore works for me. All right, guys, I'm not going to ramble any further. (laughs) It's probably, probably getting annoying, but hope everybody has a great day out there. And, uh, Hope this video was somewhat informative, but that's about it for today, guys. Until next time, see ya.